Anne's always helping me faster than I can can think. So good morning, guys. Hi, this is Andrea Rosser. Excited to be in here today. I just want to be with Rick and Jane with that Airstream. That's my dream too. So uh, we can all hang out in that forest together. That'll be great. Maybe with a little bit of Will's warm snow and, and we can rock it. So sounds fantastic, but excited to be here today while well, Coach Palmer is still at corporate. So he's out there um, working through everything for us. And Valerie, I love that you're on a treadmill with us this morning. So good for you. Um, I saw your gym out in the garage. So that's fun. So today's word really got me thinking. And I love this. I love when I get to play with you guys because there's so much to think about um, that I don't know about you, but I live my life just trying to do my best, but not giving a whole lot of deep thought to some of these things. So this is really good for me. But so today's word is values. And the definition is a prin person's principles or standards of behavior, one's judgment of what's important in life. And I love this quote. I just found this actually after I sent my notes to Myra, but it said, values are like fingerprints. Nobody's are the same, but you leave them all over everything you do. And that's Elvis Presley. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's so true. And they're the fundamental beliefs of a person or organization guiding principles that drive our behavior and they help people understand the difference between right and wrong and they help companies determine if they're on the right path and fulfilling the goals that they want and i um i really saw that um really struck me i was actually had the privilege of being out in las vegas it might be months ago now i don't know time moves so strange um could have been months ago and i got to be in the room with eric worry as many of you know but there was a gentleman there, his neighbor, that's a billionaire, like with a B. And um, his name's Steve Thorne, and he made his billions through like dental systems. I don't even really know, like the, the, the accounting, kind of how to run a dental office, kind of like the back office stuff. And he said that, he, you know, one of his principles is he wrote down the company's core values and the entire company reads it together every single day. And um, he's had attorneys come in and say he can't have some of the values in there um, because like his spirituality was one of them. And he said, no, like Jesus is a part of our organization and you can't be our company's attorney anymore. And he had, you know, employees that said this doesn't, you know, it just didn't align with them. And so they would just go by the wayside, right? They would leave the company because they knew the values and they saw where it didn't align with theirs. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's so valuable. Um, I thought it was a really great story at the time. I thought, wow, what are my values? But I didn't really give it too much personal thought. And I thought, oh goodness, you know, I'll be 45 next week and I've made it this long without really defining my core values. So I started Googling, right? Like what in the world, how do you define your core values? So if you're like me and maybe you haven't got that far in your life just yet, um, maybe now's the time. So how do you pick them, right? How do you choose your core values? So um, first thing is I literally looked up list of core values. Like what are some words that could be used to be a core value? And I read through the list, like I literally Googled it, right? And I read through the list and I just started writing down the ones that felt the most important to me in that moment. And obviously these can change and they're gonna you know, um, morph throughout your life. But just for me, some that I thought, wow, this is really what I would love to have on a wall in my home and read every day. And you know, was faith, integrity, contribution, loyalty, love, responsibility, gratitude, and peace, right? Like that sounds like a great day to have. I read those really fast because that felt very personal. Um, but um, that sounded like a really great way to live my life, right? So, you know, go look at that list and pick the words that feel the best for you, that you would be great guiding principles for you. And then next, think of three, you know, six, two, I don't know. Think of some people that you admire the most or love and consider what it is that you love so much about them. Right. So, you know, there's going to be, you know, what makes them a role model to you. And so I'm going to give you an example. And it's funny, I sent the notes to Myra, but I didn't realize how deeply she read them. And so she called me out on this. <laughs> so I love you, Myra. Um, so one of the things that I love the most about Coach Myra is that she is just 
lives in absolute honesty. She doesn't pull any punches. She just tells, tells it like it is. And that's really a trait in her that I really admire. Right. And that kind of goes back. So what do I admire about that? Why is that so important? And how can I put that into my core values? And then another one like coach Palmer, I think everybody on here would agree. He is so generous. He's generous with his time. He's generous with his words. He's generous with his finances and generosity really kind of sums him up. And I love that about him. And so if you can identify the specific values um, that embody your heroes, then it can inspire you to adopt them yourself. So I thought that was really great. And then there's all these online inventory. So the third way that you can figure out what your values are is go again, this beautiful beauty of Google, um, go search online value test and you can go find, you know, fill in all kinds of different inventories of yourself and it will spit out the results that it thinks um, sums you up very well. And then four, observe yourself and learn. So walk through the day right? Walk through your day and consciously put a label on the values of some of the key decisions in your day, right? So an example could be if I'm choosing Oreos for breakfast, maybe health isn't my core value, right? <laughs> maybe pleasure would be a more of a core value. I don't know, but just pay particular dis attention to the, you know, maybe I'm putting all these values up there, right? So I put faith, but if I'm never cracking a Bible, well, maybe that's really not one of my core values, or I need to be making sure that I'm slipping it into my day so that I am living by my core values. And then look back. So number five, last one, I'll finish here. Look back at the best moments of your life and see if they point to a specific value that maybe you don't have listed. So for me, I'm just thinking about um, a highlight, right? I was given a, a award, reward, I don't know how you say that, award um, that was pounding the rock. And it was really a proud moment for me. And it wasn't a award for being like a rock star or doing anything amazing. It was an award for, well, really persevering, being loyal, picking something and sticking with it. And I thought, wow, that's the best award for me because it meant the most to me and, and how does that align in my values and then you can do it for the negative moments too so if you've had a moment where perhaps you felt shameful or embarrassed or um, just a, a negative moment well how did that not align with your values um, and how can you make sure that you don't repeat that again in the future so that's all I have for you today but I, that was a fun exercise I think I'm going to work some more on this today so thank you so much for that Myra and the call is yours. Thank you so much, Andrea. Andrea, we all love Andrea, and we uh, we I really admire her in more ways than uh, than she even realizes. But her uh, just she's just sweet. That's one of the best ways, that, and she's such an incredible, incredible. I want to say teammate and friend, and uh, we are we value you more than you know. So we're talking about values and, you know, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'm not going to duplicate a lot of things that Andrea has already uh, gone over because I do have a few things that's the same as her, but I've debated on a quote of Mahatma Gandhi. I've debated on, do I start with this or do I end with this? Well, I finally have decided I'm going to start with it. And it kind of leads me into the rest of my message, you know, and I'll be brief. Um, he said, keep your values positive because your values become your destiny. So like Andrea, I had never heard that statement before. And as I was digging in and looking at this a little bit more, and I know we've used the word value before, but for whatever reason, it just resonated with me differently this time. But, you know, values shape our decisions. And decisions shape our life. You know, our values signal what's important to us. They are emotional states that show us what's important and what we want to experience. So I'm going to send you to spend a couple of minutes talking about how much value we put into these important areas moving forward okay like health and energy 
do we value that? I probably value health more over the last two years than I have ever in my life. And it's a lot of it has to do with everybody in this community. And it's because of the association uh, with a company that I believe in uh, and people that I believe in and love. And so I think health, because of that, obviously our energy is even more and more valued. Um, you know, how would, I, I'm not going to say this at the end of every single uh, word that I do, but I want to say it one time. How would your life change? How would our lives change if we valued health and energy higher? Love of all things, true non judgmental love. That's got to be something we value. And if you don't, if that's not one of your values, uh, you're going to struggle. Uh, you know, make love a priority in our lives. We must. Again, how would our lives change if we valued love at a higher level? Gratitude and appreciation. One thing that I have learned in my entire life, in any career that I have ever been in, is it wasn't anything that I knew that was so brilliant. But my family instilled in me way back that I'm only going to be as successful in life and in a career by who I surround myself with. And I I have valued that because I know 1,000% a lot of the reasons of why I've been successful. It was who I had around me. So I appreciate that. And I am grateful for all of these people. And I, you know, I think that that is another one. How would our lives change if we valued gratitude and appreciation at a higher level? I mean, you just can't go wrong with that. Again, kindness and compassion. Right now, I'm living in Knoxville, Tennessee, and I'm and I and for almost three years now. I have I'm in a place where there's several homeless people, and I think I have such a huge I have a I have a big heart. I mean, I can cry at the drop of a bucket. Nobody really knows that about me, but I'm very tender-hearted. But uh, my compassion, that value, has grown. Not that I don't care, I'm not compassionate to everybody, but to see so many people that are living this life, that has brought that thing that I've got to value more and being comp more compassionate and kind. Integrity, you know, we, we can talk all day about that. We have to have a very high, high value on our integrity. You know, another thing, and I think that Andrea hit the nail on the head with this is, uh, you know, we have to value you giving we have to give uh you know we've always probably heard this is greater to give than receive and i can't think of a better person than brent palmer i've known him gosh for probably 30 years now and that cat he he's unbelievable in his heart what he gives and you know we have and like andrew said peace gosh we gotta value peace connection we got to value that. And you know what? Growth and happiness. Those are two areas that we need to be valuing, I think, more. Uh, and, and, and in peace. Times in our life, one of the values that I have learned to enjoy more, especially in the you know last five or 10 years, is when you find that peace, value that. You know, a lot of times people base success on the dollar amount i don't think that that's what makes us successful and what basically we base our values upon is our dollar amount take gratitude appreciation kindness compassion and terror all of these things that andrew and i have pointed out to you guys this morning and you put that in your life and whatever it is you're doing and you know what all that money just happens but the greatest thing about it when you apply those all of these values and focus on is you're not only being able to generate a wealth, you are so happy and peaceful and joyful. So we can have it all, but I do think that we have to refocus upon what's valuable to us and what our personal values are. So 
thanks so much for uh, tuning in this morning. Uh, we actually, our, our special guest is going to have to back up to next week. Uh, she was recognized last night on ESPN and it's kind of backed her up. So uh, it's going to be an exciting uh, time for you to hear her. So, but I love you. Uh, again, I value you more than you know. Uh, I talked to Brent this morning and he, he's just, he, he's, yes, he's doing what he needs to do to help us all, but he is miserable that he can't be here with you guys. But we are so grateful that Andrea is here and she has stepped in and knocked a grand slam in his place. So everybody have a great day. Love you. Look forward to seeing you in the morning. Thank you, Myra. That was awesome. Love you guys. Have a great day. Have a good one. Many great job, girls. That was great.